Hi everyone, this is Bilal Ahmed. This is our math class. In today's math class, we started from the page 24 and 26, right? 24 to 26. It's all about uh, comparing and uh, ordering numbers, right? So here, <clears throat> you guys can see the topic, 1.3. So we continue from the page uh, 24. Again, our previous class, we learned about uh, the ordinal numbers. We learned about uh, uh, who is first, second, and third, right? We ordered them in by saying first, second, third, fourth, up to uh, tenth, right? Okay, so today you are going to learn how to order all the numbers, okay, which number is greater and uh, which number is smaller, right? Okay, so let's move on to our first uh, question, question number three. You already done in question one and two in our previous class. So let's continue with question number three. Okay, let's begin. A number sequence starts at 37. Okay, the number sequence start from 37, right? It counts on, okay? Counts on mean you have to count forward, okay? Like one, then two, then three, then four, right? So you have to count on in tens, okay? It means you have to jump number of uh, four tens, right? and stops at 77, right? So what are the numbers in the sequence? So guys, here are five blanks. One, two, three, four, and five. There are five blanks, okay? We have to put numbers in the sequence. Sequence mean in order by counting in tens, okay? So don't count back, you have to count on, right? Okay, so our number start from 37. So here will be 37, right? Okay, so you have to count on tens, right? And you have to stop at 77 means your last number should be 77 in this blank, okay? So we have to find three sequence numbers, okay? Because two numbers are given, 37 start number, 77 is the last number, okay? You have to stop. Okay, so how do we count in tens? In our previous lessons, you learned about ones and tens, okay? How numbers change in the hundred square, right? Okay, so now we have to count in tens. So what number is tens? Yes, seven or three? Yes, three is the tens place, okay? And seven in the ones place. We will never change, okay? We will not, we never do any changes with seven because we need to count in tens, right? So you have to add one in the three, okay? Each time to change the number, right? Let's start. So don't change the ones, change the tens because three is the tens place. Okay, three plus one, Four. So seven will remains same. So your number will be 47. 
okay? Because 37 plus 10 is 47. Okay, again, you have to never change this ones. We have to change the tens place because you are counting on in tens. So add one. What is four plus one? You are right, five. And seven ones make 57, right? Okay, same. Five plus one, six, very good. And seven will remain same, 67. Okay, the last number already given, but you have to add one in the six. Six plus one, seven. And the seven, same, 77. So in this way, you have to <clears throat> make sequence, okay? But don't forget, you have to count on or you have to count back. If you are going to count back, you have to minus from three minus one, two, okay? You have to go back. Okay, next, uh, next question is, what can you say about all the numbers, the numbers like 37, 47, 57, 67 and 77 in the sequence. Okay, sequence means all numbers in order. You wrote for question three. <clears throat> this is question three. So as you notice that one thing, the ones, okay, the seven, 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 and seven, the ones place never change, okay? The, you notice that uh, the ones place never change because you are changing tens only, okay? And uh, we notice that the number seven is the odd number. We started from 37, 37 is the odd number. So all numbers are odd. You guys can watch previous uh, videos. I. Uh, I taught you about how to find odd numbers and even numbers. Okay, you will be have a well idea. Okay, so all numbers are odd. Okay, and the ones do not change. Let's move on to question five. Sophia's number sequence is, okay, now the sequence are given. The first number 74, the last number, stop number 34. 74, 64, 54, 44, and 34. So there are five numbers given in sequence in order. So what is the uh, first number? What do you write here? Look at this 74 at 74, what do you write here? Yes, this is the start number. Okay, you have to start at 74. Okay, now you have to find out, you are going to count on or count back. So look, our ones place four, 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 all same. But the tens place like seven, six, five, four, three, change, right? It's mean the numbers are getting smaller. Here is a seven, then seven minus one, six, then five, then four, then three. It's mean the, the tens place getting smaller. Right, so you have to count on or count back. You are right, you are going to count back in tens <clears throat> because tens are changing. And what is the stop at? Yes, what number is the last number? You have to stop at. Good, 34 is the last number you have to stop at. 
Okay, so I hope you guys understand how do we know what number is smaller and what number is greater. So don't look at the ones place. In the ones place, we have six and four. You have to look on the first number, tens, okay? Here is two and here is three. What tens is bigger? Three is bigger than this two. It means you don't have to look once what you have in the ones place. You have to look at the tens. If the tens is bigger, so you have to choose three is bigger than two. 36 is greater than 24. Okay, we're gonna use this experience to find out uh, this exercise. 